Did you get up? I mean, when when you went over and got into a fight with Leon, you were being interviewed. He was yelling some shit at you while you're being interviewed, and you walked over. And one of the, one of the things that I like what you said is you walked over your hands behind your back. You're like, look, would you talk, say what the fuck you want to say to me. But then when he was standing in front of you, like he wanted to punch you, you're like, okay. Well, you know, for starters, what was he saying to you? Well, initially, um, I was doing my interview, and he's crossing by, and he's with his corner man, and I don't know if this guy consumes a lot of drugs or what, that he thought that that would intimidate him. He was, he was walking like this, looking at me, and like pacing back and forth, and I'm, I'm trying to do my interview, you know? And he asked me something about something, a date, and I say, maybe, maybe not. And then he tells me to shut up. You know, we're on, we're everybody watching this back home from Miami was like, you should have punched him as soon as he asked you a question while you're interviewed because that's my natural instinct. You know, <laughs> if you're getting interviewed and some fucking idiot comes here and cuts your interview off, bro, you should get punched or slapped upside your head, you know? That'll teach you respect not to do that to nobody else again. I should have immediately done it, but I didn't. I answered his question politely. Maybe, maybe not. He goes on to say, shut up after that. I can't take that. My daughter might be watching this interview. I've been telling her, stand up to bullies your whole life. Don't go running to somebody and tell them, oh, so-and-so is picking on me. Handle it yourself. That's what's wrong with this country, I think, with this whole, if somebody picks on you, go tell somebody else. I'm not going to tell authorities this hooligan's picking on me. I'm going to handle it myself, you know, because I'm going to see him again. He's going to think he could pick on me. Got to handle it myself, you know. I'm in my interview, man. You're going to steal my moment. I just worked out here. I just kicked mm -hmm. some butt out here. You barely want a split decision in your own country. I knocked this dude out, and you're trying to steal my shine like this? That, that's what I'm saying. Like, mm -hmm. And then he got famous off that, which I hate. So only thing I could take back about that night, that it wasn't filmed. If they hadn't filmed it, it'd be even better, you know? He was just gone off in silence, you know? Leon got his ass But split. I think it helped you, too. No, did it help me? Yeah, but it helped him more than anything. Nah. Yeah. No, it People helped you. This. People know who this People hooligan know is. People know Masvidal doesn't take any shit. People have known that since. They know, but they since like Since before to see it. Rainbows Had Color, they already knew that, man. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't. They didn't need to see me whooping to, to People know that. People like know to that. see it. They like to see it. They like to get remembered, huh? Yeah, they Maybe. like to see people have consequences for shit talking in this weird era of constant shit talking. You know, I think people enjoy it. They like it. And if you guys ever fight, it makes it a bigger fight for sure. I guess, man. You know, I guess. But yeah. does that like? I beat number three. I've been in this sport for a while. I've been mm -hmm. beating up guys. Would that validate him to fight me when I, he hasn't yet. beaten a top ten guy yet? No. He's still yet to be the top ten guy. You know, like, but he could get that fight off. That that that's a new age and era that we're right. in. You know, right? That's a concern. Yeah, that's a concern. I'll fight when when his when he's beating a top ten guy. I'm gonna be the first guy to expose him to break his face. But until that moment comes, you're, you're talking about the business side because you already saw on the personal side, any day of the week, I will address you. But on the business side, get to my level, buddy. Put in the fucking work. Go yeah. be the top 10 guy. Knock him the fuck out. Did you worry at all him. about getting in trouble for punching somebody in another country? I was scared out of my fucking life, yeah, Joe. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I was scared. Out. I thought this guy was going to kill me, man. Oh. I might have not looked it, but I was scared out of oh, my okay. life. Yeah, I get it. I'm very cold-blooded, you know. I get that from, from genetics, from my, my pops and them. But I was scared out of my mind. I thought this guy was going to take everything I had, you know. You had to do that. I had to defend myself. I understand myself, it. Man. I understand. But did you worry at all about them arresting you or any weird shit like that over there? I mean, you're in another I country. I wanted to press charges. Ah. I, that's how scared I was, but I'm not going to press charges because I'm a man. Yeah. But that's how I felt. I, so you know, were in danger. I was fucking hell of in danger. I did you not see? It was not just one assailant. He was him oh. and his crew of hooligans. You know, ah, hooligans, lawless people. I had to defend myself. I did everything in my right to defend myself. It was one against like three or four dudes, and they know it. You mm. know, it's on video. That, okay, I understand. I understand. And so, the what did the police say to that? Oh, they ain't tell me nothing, man. They didn't tell you shit? I didn't speak to no police. Or That's amazing. No, no police for me. No talking to police. Anyways. <laughs> you started to be yeah. up in the Spanglish immediately. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> we go on mute and I, no speak English. Huh? <laughs> okay? No speak English. Yeah. I mean, how many times have you fought in England before? Oh, first time. Yeah. So, like, if you go the rest of your career, 
You can't go to England. Oh, well. No, that It'll would suck, okay. though. I really liked England. Did you? The fans were so knowledgeable. Yeah. And they were just cool. Even the ones that were like Till fans mm -hmm. would say like a funny joke to me or something cool. But it wasn't like that weird, bad energy, you know? Even if they were Till fans, right. just be like, oh, my boy Till's going to get you, you know? But it, it'd be like funny and how they say cheeky, you know? It was, right. it was a great experience. Everywhere I went, the people were super, super duper cool. Yeah. Um, Brazil's rough if yeah, someone's yeah. fighting a Brazilian. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They don't, they don't. I've heard the story. They're I've yet to fight super in Brazil. nationalistic and proud, yeah. very proud. So they're not into people coming over there and fighting Brazilians. They're not yeah. going to be friendly to you. Yeah. But England's different, man. They're very polite. 